Hello everyone. My name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom and I am here with you today to do a mid-month reading for the sign of Taurus. Taurus, you are up next in my quest to complete all of these um, signs for the um, mid-month reading of September. So you are up next. I have said my prayer called in my spirit guides and they will be with us for this reading. This reading may be your energy or the energy of someone closely attached to you. So please don't take on energy that isn't yours and leave it for someone else. Okay, what do we have for Taurus spirit? What does Taurus need to know about the remainder of September? Okay, the bottom of our deck is reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. How nice is that? Shining bright for the whole world to see here, Taurus. Wonderful energy. We have stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Maybe you're taking a stand on something, moving in a direction, working hard on a path, or... Um, releasing the past and just being strong having gone through what you've gone through and hold the course staying focused right focusing in on what you want keeping your eye on the prize going right after it taking shelter the answers are within go within if you need clarity on something okay if you feel like you're hermiting or um, sheltering in place or whatever it might be if you feel like you're out of sorts the answer is always within we have in the flow everything is smooth sailing right just keep flowing with the energies right keep gliding along crossing bridges it's time for healing connecting mending and releasing and this is a time folks this is what this portal is about opened on 9-9 and runs until the um, lunar eclipse in Pisces on the 17th, 18th, depend on where you live. And it's time to do the final purge of any healing you have to do, releasing any of the past, pains, hurts, whatever it is, it's time to do it. And overcoming obstacles, you can overcome anything, and you can and you will. You have 100% of the time up to this point in your life, and you will continue to through every stage of life. And rainbow blessings, blessings are showering your life, right? Maybe some opportunities, some change, oh, blessings, right? Maybe you need some. And wise leader, you are a beacon for others, right? You're out there, you're putting yourself out there, you're shining your light, and you're showing other people the way. And valiant courage, take action with passion, right? Go after what you want, take action with passion, right? And that's what you're doing. You're staying committed and going after what you want. And fogged in, go slow and take time, right? something is slow right now in your life maybe it's not going as quickly as you would and spirit saying just take your time with it all energies change nothing stays static and it will open up for you too okay not to worry all right that's some rather nice energy here for you taurus so maybe you're working on some kind of problem in your life here you're staying strong in a situation and it looks like your luck might be changing. Um, it 
you know, some opportunities or some blessings coming in that might help you, right? So what do we have for Taurus here? And bottom of our deck is the Seven of Pentacles. So manifesting your dreams here, working hard at it, putting the effort in day in and day out. Um, and this is energy at the bottom of the deck. This is like your subconscious energy, the things you're focused on. Or this can be energy coming towards you. So you're manifesting your dreams. Maybe you're a little... Um, worried about how that's going to go but we see the ten of cups happiness is a huge transformation in your life six of pentacles reciprocal energies being of service and answering a call with spirit so that's what we have going on here for you all right okay in our reading here we have one two major arcana cards so the rest is process, what you're working on, working through in your life. And in the center of our spread, we have the chariot, balanced forward movement, going in the direction you want, going after what you want, being the leader, being wise, using your wisdom from your past circumstances to light the way for others. Such a beautiful energy, Taurus. We have the two of swords trying to keep it all in balance here, right? Um, Taurus, trying to stay in balance, maybe uh, tossing some real big things around in your life, but staying in balance. And then we have the um, Knight of Cups here, um, an energy of somebody moving on a path, spreading love, right? And then the lovers, a love connection here or decision that's coming. Um, in the middle row, we have the Ace of Wands, an opportunity coming in in passion and creativity, um, something to help you out maybe that has you in this chariot energy. And you are the Knight of Pentacles here, I believe. You are taking slow and steady action, reliable, dependable, committed to a path of some kind here of passion and creativity. And maybe what you're spreading is is love here and then we have the two of pentacles um, more trying to stay in balance trying to keep all the balls in the air um, trying to stay above water that kind of an energy the knight of swords is here fast moving energy you could be in this energy too and then the eights of swords overthinking this over worried fearful blinders on maybe just so confused so there's a few ways we can look at the energy and i like to move it around a little um, so we have the two of swords energy right trying to stay in balance try to understand a situation that happened in the past maybe an argument or something you were in or maybe you're trying to release that energy and then there's um the Ace of Wands, that opportunity and passion, creativity, and you're keeping it all in balance, right? Knight of Cups, Chariot, Knight of Swords. So we have two knights here, an air sign and a water sign here. And then we have the love, the Knight of Pentacles doing the work. And so now we have an earth sign here. Earth, water, and air. And then we have 
the Eight of Swords, right? Oh, I'm worried. Am I doing the right thing? I love what I'm doing, but am I doing the right thing? Okay. And right in the center of this is that balance forward movement, that in the flow energy that we saw in the opening energies. So you're really in the flow of something, making something happening in your life. And maybe you have a little bit of opposition here that you're dealing with, Taurus. So let's see what comes out for you here when we clarify some of this. All right, spirit guides, can you please tell me about this two of swords energy for Taurus? Okay, the Two of Swords is the Queen of Pentacles, our mature, responsible, um, unbothered, committed to her, whatever it is, working hard at it. The Queen of Cups, psychic, intuitive, loving the most love in the tarot here, right? Just unconditional, overloaded love. And Six of Swords, right? I'm taking both of my energies and I'm moving away. I'm staying. Um, I'm going towards a better place in my life. Knight of Cups. For Taurus. That is the Emperor. He's in this Knight of Cups energy. And he has the Three of Pentacles. He's thinking about healing, collaborating, building something. And the emperor can be male or female, right? We know that. We don't have any sex in tarot. And tell me about... Tell me about the lovers. the Hierophant. This could be an agreement, a partnership of some kind, a traditional values, um, ethics, morality, um, authorities, that kind of energy. It's a real spiritual energy that could be part of some type of a love connection here or a work situation. Somebody hard at work on something and is spiritually connected spiritually guided in their work maybe um, and they're going for ten of pentacles right they want that they're going after that American dream in their life they want um, stability commitments long-term employment long-term relationships they want all of that in their life and they're working hard for it And tell me about the Ace of Wands. Yeah, that's the chariot going fast and forward, passionate in the work they're doing. What else about the Ace of Wands? The end of a cycle, a new beginning. Tell me about the chariot. Three of Wands going after what we want. We're working hard at it and we're hoping for our ships to come in because we're ready to take the leap of faith, right? And right now we're confused about what's going on in our lives. We can't quite see things clearly. And tell me about the 
Knight of Pentacles, please. Cards are really responsive here right now for you, Taurus. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles here. That is someone in the Four of Pentacles being careful with their energy, who they give to on their path. And they're in a place of no regrets right now, right? They had this sadness, they're over it, and they're moving forward. They're not worried about spilt milk anymore, if you'd have it that way, right? They're just, <clears throat> they're over it all. Enough is enough, right? And that's what I think this energy is. I'm on my path, I'm doing my thing, and I'm not giving to anything that makes me sad or regretful. I am truly committed to my path. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords here, some truthful communication coming in. To somebody spiritually aligned and self-protective energy. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. That is Spirit saying, stay patient. Let's not go so fast here. Let's not go 100 million miles an hour, right? What else about the Knight of Swords? Worried, confused. And Archangel Michael saying, stay patient here. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords energy. Yeah, you're asking for justice, right? Can Judgment. Maybe you're going to have to use your judgment on something in your life. And three of cups, right? Do I, do I reach out? Do I communicate? Maybe judgment over a third party situation in some way in your life. A third party situation could be anything. It doesn't have to be another person. It could be a job. It could be a family member that's interfering in your your plans in some way. Okay, so we have the um, the Ace of Wands, the Chariot, in the world here, and this could be the end of a cycle. But the um, the World card is very auspicious, and it can mean success and victory, accomplishment. Right? Just because it's the end of a cycle doesn't mean that you don't have an accomplishment of some kind here coming in, okay? Um, in the next pile, we have the fool, right? Like, you know this end is coming, and you're going to be taking a leap of faith. You just don't know when it's coming in or when you're going to do it or take the action, whatever it is. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Swords. Sorry, I have a I have the ceiling fan on and it's blowing my hair around. <laughs> yeah. What is this Ace of Swords energy for Taurus? Okay, well the Ace of Swords is a tower, so something happening unexpected. Um, somebody does have a plan though and the king of cups is here emotionally balanced 
and a page of wands somebody fired up um, it, you know excited about whatever they're doing in life the path they're on it's a message um, of somebody that's fired up okay tell me about the world please ace of wands two ace of wands there An opportunity and passion yeah. Somebody's in a hanged man. Tell me about the hanged man. That's the lover's energy. Somebody making a decision about lovers. King of Swords. And there's our air sign. <laughs> and he's thinking about stability in his life like if he makes some kind of decision what is it going to mean for me how is my life going to work out tell me about the emperor the emperor is the empress so she's just stepping into her power here Wow. And look at how powerful that is, the emperor and the empress. With this three of pentacles energy, this healing and working together, building something. It's all with this knight of cups energy. It's beautiful. Okay, so... Yeah, you're waiting for some kind of opportunity to come in here. At the bottom of the deck, we have healing our heart. So let's um, sum this up for you here. You're on this path. You're answering this call from spirit. We know that. You're committed in... you know doing it taking doing your due diligence taking your actions moving forward at a good speed here cutting out what doesn't work for you focused on your stability like what will happen if i make this move if i take this chance if i make this offer if i do this thing right we have the emperor coming out
Oops. What a beautiful reading. <sighs> Holy cow. Okay. So by the end of the month, this is how it's going to look, whether you're the male or the female here, Taurus. Um, you're going to be stepping fully into your power, taking control of a situation on this path, whatever this is. Um, justice is coming in. Things are going to get balanced out and get fair. And it's probably going to happen with this full moon eclipse. And it's going to put an end to some things in your life. Like five of pentacles, feeling abandoned, feeling left behind, um, lack mentalities. Worry about work and concerns about career. Um, in the fears and things, it's going to put an end to all of that energy that you've been carrying around with you, that it's time to release it, Taurus. And, you know, you're staying patient, waiting for this to all happen, right? And then the Wheel of Fortune's here. There's an opportunity that comes in. It's based in truth and honesty. You're going to have to take, stay strong and courageous and brave. Take a leap of faith. Divine timing. Illumination clarity. Okay. Wow. How beautiful. Whew. My goodness. And as we go back to the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands releasing the past with the Queen of Cups, moving forward, putting everything into their power with opportunities. Okay, Seven of Cups. So that's what you have. By the end of the month, you're going to be in a completely different situation here in your life, Taurus. Wow. All right, spirit guides, what energy do we have for Taurus? What can energies are supporting them through the end of the month here?
of the deck is embracing and this is about embracing spiritual energies right in your life um, connecting in with spirit guides and we had that answering the call energy here Taurus that you're working in some field where you are spiritually connected and protected and you have wish fulfillment coming in here and some adventures are going to be happening <laughs> Okay, let's see what else made its way in here to you today. Okay, we have healing chaos and that might be some of the energy that's going to come to an end with this eclipse that you're going to finally put it to to rest in your life and move in different ways and you're flowing with the energies big flow energies here staying in the flow and happiness right letting happiness and joy come into your life purifying your energy releasing going through it carefully going within and just getting rid of all the past garbage and baggage you're being really brave and courageous on this path you're releasing right you're releasing that's what the portal's about releasing and you do have some time to spend alone in some solitude because that's when you will connect in with your spirit guides um, let life be delightful right it's going to be let yourself come to a place of inner peace, knowing that all is well and everything's going to work out for you. You are stepping into your power, and that's evident here with this empress and emperor out here. And blessings are pouring into your life, and that was in the opening energy as well, so blessings are coming in for you. Abundance is going to be flowing in your life. Stay focused on what you want keep your eye on the prize keep going after what you want keep going forward taurus keep stay in that chariot and keep moving forward ah freedom right you have free will let yourself be free spirited go after what you want pleasure life is going to be more pleasurable more opportunities to enjoy yourself and have fun Right? And in the stillness, we learn everything we have to learn. And you are part of a community, building a community, leading a community. Whatever it is, it's going to set fire. It's taking off. You're going to make great things happen in it, Taurus. All right. That's the reading I have for you today, Taurus. I think the rest of September is just going to be spectacular for you. I hope you um, have a great week ahead. Thank you for being here and supporting the channel. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your views, your comments, your shares. Um, I'm blessed beyond belief to be able to do these readings for you all. Sending love and light, and I will see you in the next reading. And do check out your other placements, Taurus. You are more than just your sun sign. So take a few minutes to check out some of the other placements you have and see what's what the full picture of what's going on for your energy is like, okay? All right. Love and light to all, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.